Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to this week's video. I know I've been a bit in my A, but I've been just kind of trying to rest the best that I can. Uh, I am on holidays from class this month in August, but I also want to rest. So I decided to do a chill video with you guys to kind of dip my toes in. And yesterday I was cleaning up my desk area which was very messy by the way if you're new here hi my name is Bia I'm so out of touch with filming now it's been so long I was cleaning out my desk yesterday and I found this little pencil case which used to be my like go-to pencil case and it has a bunch of older paint pans if you probably seen my videos recently you've seen that I still use a lot of paint pans but I've been using the Artistro or the art the art X pens the Artistro have been using for details and the art pens the art X have been more for like full-on drawing but these were actually the first paint pens I ever reviewed so if you have followed me for a while you might remember these so these are the archer and olive paint pans apologies as well if it looks very dark i swear i'm in a room that has windows but my house is pretty much a cave and it's daytime but it still looks very cave like these were the first paint pans i ever reviewed these guys with the white barrel i don't remember if i have all of them here they have a lot more different paint sets now and these were all also other paint pens that i used to use a lot these ones were the durant graphic i used to use these a ton and then i also used to use a lot the Amsterdam acrylic markers and these ones were my like ride or die at the, at the time the amps the um, one for all i still really like these uh but i barely use them anymore i just tend to use the white one for details the thing that i like about these is that they are refillable but they are also pretty expensive i bought some of these this color i was completely mistaken by the cap the color is such a duck color because yeah the color was so black but these three these used to be my holy grail i used to love these but at the time that I used these, I used this more of an accent color. I barely did just one drawing with them. So I thought today might be interesting to just use these as I normally use paint pens now and mostly focus on the Archer and Olive now. I think it might be a nice, interesting, fun time. They just do a little sketch with me, fill out my sketchbook video with these. Something very low, lo-fi <laughs> sort of video just chill times so grab your sketchbook let's swatch these to see if look at my cat's playing she's trying to catch a fly uh let's see if these still have any juice in them even i have not used these oof, maybe like three years uh, maybe quite curious to see if they still have any juice in them even so yeah let me get everything started and we'll start I quickly went to the website just to check which set I had. This is the Tropicals and I am missing the blender pen. They had the blender and I honestly have no idea what I did to it. I think I barely used it so that might be why I don't even know where it is. Okay, so I have my sketchbook here and we're just going to quickly swatch this. Hopefully they're still alive. It has been a bit of a time since I used these. I think Honestly, I think last time I used this was 2001, maybe? I might have used these once or twice, but I put them away and in my head, once you're gone, I kind of forget you exist. So yeah, they were truly out of sight, out of mind. So I'm going to skip on swatching the white, you won't see anything. But let's start with the, um, the yellows. I don't think they had names at the time. A bit dry. Which I was expecting. Let's see if I can revive. Oh. I think if needed, I can dip the tip in water and that might revive them. I think I remember seeing that. So let me grab something of water. 
I remember seeing this trick. I don't think I don't remember if it was specific to Archer and Olive, but I think it kind of was. So you can dip this in water, and hopefully it will get rid of the dry paint that's on the tip, and that's preventing the the thingy from flowing the paint. By the way, this is how the tip looks. It's uh, just one single sided, you won't be able to move, uh, remove. I don't think they have repla replaceable tips. I don't think that's very common. The thing, the, the thing I really liked about Molotov was that they have tips you can buy. So overall, like, I like the um, reusability of them, but they were so expensive. <laughs> so I, for I totally just never really used it anymore. Okay, this is flowing a bit, so let me grab the pen and let's see if that worked. It did! Awesome! It totally worked! Yay! Nice! Okay, so let me do a little swatch here. Color is still pretty juicy and thick. And that was a very nice, easy fix to make it work. So the tip is also is a plastic tip. It's quite hard. I think you can probably hear it scratching the paper. So you probably have to do this for all of them. <laughs> now I can check quickly. Oh, no, actually. This one made me a liar. This one is all ready to go. Quite juicy from the start, honestly. Really surprised. Because <laughs> most paint pens, uh, for example, my Artistro ones, when I have not used them for a while, they are kind of a nightmare to start getting going again. And this one, I am extremely surprised that this, they are just ready to go. So. Awesome points for them. <laughs> Let me do the pink one. Let me see how you are. This one seems to be juicy as well. Yeah, I'm actually quite, quite surprised. I have not used these in so long. And they are so ready to go. This one might need a little help with just cleaning the tip. I will clean the tips of all of them just in case, but I'm just really seeing if they are ready to go or not and swatching them here with you guys this one i think it might be no wow oh i remember they did have replacement tips because the purple one was initially busted i think i i'll have to rewatch the video i did <laughs> ages ago because i think the purple tip was busted and they had a few tips in the box like it came with tips and I used one of those and I think I lost the other one because I shortly moved house after doing that video so yeah I probably lost it but I'm extremely surprised that these are just so ready to go damn yeah look at it go wow okay come through some of the tips are a bit more worn off than the others, but that's just because I was probably rougher with some than others. And so we have three more colors. Yeah, wow. Oh, this one is still <laughs> dirty from when I used it. At the time, I just used them for like details after painting with watercolor. That was the style that I was going for. So I'm excited to see how these behave just like just with pink pens. I'm excited to see how they go. They're not, there are seven millimeters. They have the three millimeter, I think, at the time. And I think I asked for the seven because I just wanted to cover more ground. And so that's what I have. Yeah, I'm super surprised with these, that they are still so nice. Some of my paint pens, I really have to work for them in just not using them for like a couple of months. This has been like <laughs> two years. The gray, I think I barely used. <laughs> so it should be very full and very untouched. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super surprised.
extremely surprised even. So I am going to clean the tips of all of them just to give them a fair shot and also sort of a refresh because yeah, it's been a while. So these probably just need a little bit of tender care and love, tender love and care. I think that's how you say it. So I'm just going to clean the tips of these and then I'm going to sketch something and let's see what I come up with. Voice over Bia might show up, might just be songs. We'll see how it goes. See you for now. Hey guys, Voice over Bia here. Just to share with you that after cleaning the nibs, the pens were a dream, but I actually started a drawing that it's it was just not working. I think I was using these pens not for their intended use like i mentioned they are meant for bullet journaling so they're very line orientated i think that's how i would describe it they work great when you're doing just lines and filling out small spaces but for filling out full big areas i don't think they're very appropriate so i decided to scrap that drawing and start a new one I'm still going to count this as a sketch with me <laughs> to fill out my sketchbook because I'm going to place this card the image on my sketchbook, the bigger one. So that's gonna count. I did reach out to Archer and Olive to see if they would like to work with me again, uh, just because I think it would be very interesting to compare how they are now. Unfortunately, they are not looking for any collaborations at the moment, but they did ask if I wanted to be part of their affiliate program. So that means I now can offer you a discount of 10% off if you want to try out any of their products. So if you want to try any Archer and Olive products, you can use my code BABISHKOART and that will give you a little discount and also help me out a little bit. So that's very nice and hopefully I will be able to work with them in the future. If I see they're not able to accept anyone else, I might just pick up a set for myself because I really do enjoy these pens and I just want to see how they are now. They have some very nice collections that I would like to try out. These pens, they work so nice when it comes to lines like the line is so nice and steady and just juicy. I remember when I used to use these, I would use them on watercolor paper and they would skip a lot because the tip is plastic. So any tip, any bit that will make it just skip, I would get little splatters. But when you use it on smooth paper, they work like a dream. The colors are so, so nice. I had forgotten how much I love the colors. I had a blast with this drawing. I was fearing it was just a weird one, <laughs> like I still kind of fear that it's a bit of a weird one, but it was a fun one, so it's fine, I don't mind. <laughs> and I'm just, I was just having fun with the pens, trying something different, they work so so nice on, on black cardstock, they are super opaque, zero streakiness, all the bits that I went over a bit more were just the eyes, everything else is just one coat, so very opaque from the start, even the yellow, the yellow is surprisingly punchy and the green, which I called yellow before, it's like a leafy green, I adore that color, also works so so nice and they are very different, you can see in the eye that you can definitely tell the difference between each other, but they complement each other very very nicely. I want to also apologize for being like one month away from YouTube, it's been a rough month and I just been preparing for Japan weekend. At the same time, I am on holiday from my classes, so I'm also taking a bit of a time for me to recharge and relax. So YouTube has been kind of put in the back, but I am recording videos. I just haven't had a lot of time to edit them and post them. Hopefully I will post another video this month and I'll probably keep on going with two videos a month for now. But schedule wise, a bit whenever I can, so I hope that's totally fine with you. I have the next video fully recorded, I just need to edit it and just upload it, so hopefully, maybe next week, I'll try my best to upload it next week. <laughs> I think I kind of want to do also a little series where I try to use my all of my art supplies because I really want to do a big clear out of my art supplies and there are some that I barely touched and I just really want to curate the art supplies that I have around me. My house is super small and I barely have any room. So I think I'm going to try and do a video where I just try and use 
not one video, a series of videos where I use all of my art supplies. I did this back in the day, maybe three years ago, and that really helped me out getting rid of art supplies that didn't really spark joy anymore. So I think I'm going to try to do that also to make me use all my art supplies and to just see which resonate with me and the way that I like to draw. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking around with me. I know I've been very inconsistent in the last few months, but I'm trying. Don't forget, you can use my code BBishkoArt if you want to try our Archer and Olive products. They are so, so nice and they have some very interesting things that I really am curious about. Please subscribe, it helps out a ton and leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you ever tried anything from Archer and Olive and if you are into the idea of me doing a series where I use all of my art supplies. Thank you so much again, you are a star and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!